Without remorse, without heart In your head, you're right But in my head, you are the bad I wanna show to the world That you're the bad one You always being bad That you saw my love You saw my time You saw my heart You begged me to come away Hey guys, it's me. It's day two of Summerathon. Um, so I'm actually gonna try and actually start my books today. Um, I'm also gonna be, I guess, hanging out with my mom and driving around too, so I'm gonna be multitasking a lot, but um, I'll take you guys along with me. updating you I didn't read anything today I like thought I didn't I don't know why but I just didn't expect to be out of the house so often today but I was and so it wasn't enough to be able to sit down and read um, and by the time I've been able to sit down I am exhausted and it's 12 a.m. and I've been like doing so many other things so I have not been able to crack open a book yet um, and I know like I could have read in the car but I get car sick if I read like that and honestly my family kind of drives crazy so I knew for a fact that if I tried reading I would just like destroy my mind and my body and myself so <laughs> decided that was probably not the best option for me I'm hoping since tomorrow Sunday and it's the third day and uh, usually Sunday is for relaxation that I can actually get some reading done <laughs> if not a lot of reading done, um, but we shall see. I will update you guys more tomorrow. Bye. Stay high for the most of time. Be the stranger, jump right in your car. Hey guys, it is me. Um, just checking in for the day. So I finished the natural last night. I did some reading, but I haven't read anything yet today. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've literally like I think this is the busiest weekend I've probably had since I moved back home. Weirdly enough. So um, I'm actually like gonna plan to read tonight. Um, right now I'm currently going through like a relaxation process. So I am watching booktube videos. I'm also soaking my feet because I'm going to be using this foot mask um, to make my feet beautiful again. I don't know. I just looked really fun and I decided that I wanted to have oop, text. I wanted to have a self-care um, night. So, and I'm also going to be putting on a face mask, which is my minting face mask that I got from Target. Um, and then, and then I'm probably going to read. Maybe I'll light some candles or something, or put in, um, start my diffuser and put in some essential oils and like just kind of calm myself and read. Um, I think that is my plan for right now. Hopefully I can update you guys later. Um, yeah. Hi, hello. It's me again. I'm back. I have put my face mask on and I smell like mint and it's great. And I put my diffuser on. I have um, like a calming scent going on right now. And then I also have my little heels on. I just have socks over them because it says like put socks over them to keep it together and to like allow your feet to get as close to the chemicals as possible. And then I am working on my last booktube video. So that means after this video, once I'm done, I'm going to start truly madly royally 
finally. Um, Chloe from Brunette Bibliophile texted me about it today and she said it was a pretty like fast paced read, which gives me a lot of hope. I think I'm just nervous because I don't want to be disappointed because I'm really looking forward to this read, but I'm like hoping it'll live up to the expectations that I kind of have for it. Um, I also have some wine that I got. It's like a, a peach Moscato or like a Moscato and peach. I don't know, my mom bought it from shoppers and we wanted to try it because I'm obsessed with peaches. I came to a conclusion in at BookCon in New York that peaches were my fruit of the year, for the year, whatever that sentence, however that sentence works. Um, and so I'm just going with that and maybe it'll be the fruit of my life. I have no idea anymore, but I will update you guys later once I've started this book and how I feel about it and all that kind of stuff. So bye. Okay, so I finally started Truly Mildly Royally, and I've been tabbing it as you can see. Um, oh my gosh, guys, so far this book is so cute. I um, am at, I think I just stopped at chapter 10. I'm probably going to stop here for the night just because I just want to lay down <laughs> um, and like watch things to zone out. But I love Zora and Owen so much. Like Owen is this like this cute little like ah like I don't know how to describe him. Like he's just so adorable in his actions to like Zora and then Zora is so I like love how like independent and confident and strong she is and the fact that they're an interracial couple still just blows my mind and makes me so happy and it's just so adorable like that like ugh, i just without i don't even want to say anything because i don't want to spoil but it's just like it fills my heart literally i read um the one scene and it involves a fairy bench and it's cute and I literally read it and then I like screamed because I was like my heart is so full because this is so cute and yeah that is just how I feel right now um I'm excited to get more into it um and see like how this story goes because it's definitely it's definitely an adorable contemporary read for the summer like definitely that and so I'm excited I also really love the author's writing style and I love the way that she like alliterates if that makes sense like the way she words things is pretty interesting and like fun and I enjoy her like alliterations or comparisons in things like hold on let me find one because and obviously it won't be a spoiler like so this isn't even spoiler so this works so sh there's this the way she just like does this paragraph it's like a short paragraph so i'm not gonna read long is like totally awesome to me so she says the plants remind me of the first people to arrive at a school dance they're in groups segregated in in clearly delineated areas, the wallflowers slumbling to one side, the soaring heights of the sunlight hogging plants with the best positioning, the yet-to-sprout plants budding together, some stretching above the others as if craning to peek at the fully blossomed wonders they aspire to become. This is the green more valuable than money. And, like, I love, I just love that, like, the way she described that it was, like, fun and cool and like different than like I feel like most I mo different than I feel most authors would describe something like that and so I this is like a like a lot like that is how she's described things a lot in such a different way and I kind of like it it's like very positive in my opinion like that's like the vibes I get whenever I read one of her descriptions like that I'm like wow this is such a positive way to think about it like I've never thought about it like that before or like seen it in that like imagery so it's really cool but yeah I'm gonna stop rambling now because I don't want this clip to be super long but um, I will update you guys tomorrow. I'll probably end up just reading more tomorrow because your girl's tired. Um, maybe I can finish it tomorrow. We shall see. Um, I'm also going to be starting Killer Instinct because your girl is not going to stop her reread. Um, and then also once I finish Truly Mildly Worldly, I'll be going on to the next book in my TBR, hopefully. So... I will see you guys later.